So I'm Guillaume Barbier. I will present a, a joint work by uh, Alberto Battistello, Jean-Sébastien Coron, Emmanuel Proof, and Rina Zetoun, uh, which tackles the issue of uh, horizontal side channel attacks uh, on the Ishai Sai Wagner masking scheme. Uh, so the agenda of the presentation is this. So first, I will start by setting the context of the of application of uh, of their attack. Uh, I will describe really briefly the the first attempt they made, uh, and then an improvement of this attack, which renders it quite more efficient. Uh, then I will describe some practical practical experiments they, they have led, and finally introduce the the countermeasure they propose to to thwart this kind of attack. Uh, so first, the, the application. Uh, well, it, at, I believe everybody here knows that uh, uh, an implementation uh, of, a, of a crypto crypto algorithm on a, on a embedded system is prone to, to side channel attacks, and that to, to thwart uh, such attacks, you will need to to add some countermeasures. And one quite obvious uh, obvious uh, countermeasure in this case. Is, uh, is masking with, uh, with random values. So we, we're dealing here with the case of uh, uh, higher order masking. So we'll consider that the, the secret, the sensitive value X will be split uh, among N plus one shares, which are drawn randomly. And, uh, and the, the remainder of the, the algorithm will manipulate those, uh, those random shares. Uh, in, uh, in recent papers, uh, it has been shown that uh, a sufficient condition to, to sort an attack, a side channel attack on, uh, on such value, is to ensure to split the sensitive value among uh, a sufficient number of shares, which, uh, which should follow this, uh, this rule, with uh, well, the, the sigma here being the, the standard deviation of the, measure, the measurements that are taken when, uh, when observing the, the algorithm uh, execution. So the, the, the question the, the authors uh, want to, to tackle is wh what happens when the, the number of shares uh, grows and uh, can, can this be a security issue in the end when it grows too much? So more precisely, uh, they tackle the, the issue, the, the problem of uh, secure multiplication so this is the, the case where you want to multiply two values that are represented uh, by uh, each by n plus one random shares. And uh, you want a process that will uh, output uh, n plus one shares that recombine will, uh, will lead to, to the, the product of x time y. So one uh, nice way to, to achieve this is to, to use the Ishai Sai Wagner scheme from uh, Crypto 2003, uh, which has been extended by Riven Proof uh, in 2010 uh, RHS uh, on, uh, on multiplication of a, of a GF2 to the, to the K for, for any K. So this algorithm goes, uh, goes as follows. You, you will draw, in the end, you will draw random values that you will use to manipulate each product of uh, each small product of the xi times the yj, and this is used to to build a kind of uh, to build a matrix that is represented here, and then you can recombine all the lines of the matrix to output the the n plus one shares that will be used to 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 form the result of the the multiplication uh, x times y. So let's go for the attack. Oops, sorry. So the, what the authors uh, remarked is that uh, in this algorithm, each value of uh, xi times yj is, manipula is manipulated once, but each value of each xi and each yj is manipulated uh, n times. Well, uh, uh, n plus one times actually if I, if I continue with the same, uh, the same notation. Uh, you can see here that uh, Y1 is manipulated in this product, in this product, and in this product. So this is the case where uh, N plus 1 equals 3. So the, the idea is to, to take advantage of, uh, of this. So what we observe when, uh, when we take the, the side channel leakage, uh, when the, the algorithm is executed, 
is a different leakage depending on, uh, on each value. So we, we will consider a, a standard Amming weight model with a, a Gaussian noise. And uh, you will see that we have a, a leakage uh, depending on the, on the value of xi, uh, a leakage depending on the value of yj, and a leakage depending on the value of uh, xi times yj. You can remark here that the, the variance of the, the Gaussian noise, the standard deviation of the Gaussian noise here, noted here, is different in both cases. This directly comes from the fact that we can observe uh, n manipulation of xi and n manipulation of yj. So by uh, averaging this, uh, this observation, we can reduce the, the effect of the noise. So in the end, the, the intuition uh, for, the, for the attack is that when you observe, uh, when, when the, the, the share you want to retrieve is zero, uh, you, will, uh, you will see uh, as output always zero when you observe the, the result of the multiplication. And if the share is equal to one, you will observe the same value uh, for the multiplication than the one you observe for, uh, for yj. And this can be retrieved in the leakage you, you, you analyze. So the, this, the, the authors think that that should be a, a nice trick to, to, to manage to distinguish whether xi is equal to one or to zero. So the, the attack principle is, uh, is really a, a template attack indeed. So you have two phases. In the first phase, uh, you will you will uh, take the measurement and uh, build the templates relative to, to the manipulation of, uh, of each value, of each uh, sensitive variable, each share actually. And uh, in the second time, you will try to use the template you build in the first step and the leakage you observe in, uh, in the attack step to, to find, uh, to find the, the value of the share you're, you're trying to, to find. So the, the question is raised now is uh, how, how do you find uh, xi? So uh, from the, the, the templates you, you build in the first phase and the, the leakage you observe uh, manipulated the value of li, you can, uh, you can build the, the probability density function of, uh, of, the, of the leakage li uh, for the different values of uh, xi. And then for each yj, you can do the same for, for, for the share yj. And you can also do the same for the, the product xi times yj. So in the end, you, you got three different uh, probability density functions uh, for, the, for the xi, for all the yj, and for all the products xi times uh, yj which can be retrieved in the, in the, in the fine, relative to the, the leakage you have observed in, uh, in the three cases. Uh, yes, and from the, the probability density function of uh, Lj and uh, Lij uh, relative to the manipulation of Yj and Xi times uh, Yj, uh, you can retrieve the joint, the joint uh, uh, probability density function of uh, observing Lj and uh, Lij, uh, knowing that Xi is equal to, to a certain value. So in the end, if you, you, you can retrieve the, the density function relative to observing all the leakage for one Li and uh, all the, the Lg, Lj and uh, Lij relative to, to this uh, Li, which we, you can you can uh, uh, compute like this. And this is more, more formally the, the algorithm for the attack, but this quite says the, the, the same uh, as the previous slides. Uh, so finally, you will, uh, you will consider uh, as the, the, the good hypothesis for, for the, the secret share the, the value that maximizes the, the probability uh, of the, the, the function we have, we have just seen here. So in uh, numerical simulations, this gives the, the following figures. So you can see that uh, depending on, on sigma, 
we express here the number of share that is required to, to find the, the share with a probability uh, over than one half. So we can see that when the, when there is, even when there is no noise, the, we need to have 12 shares to, to be able to, to find back, to find a, a, each sensitive share with a, a good probability. And when the noise is one, which is uh, maybe not quite much, uh, we, already, we already need 284 shares to, to be able to find back the, the sensitive shares. So this gives the, the trend of the evolution of the number of shares required, uh, depending on the, on the noise. You can see that we are, we are more, uh, several hundreds of, uh, of shares to, to get some good probabilities of, uh, of retrieving the, 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 all the shares of the, of the secret. So these figures seem quite high, so the, the authors, they try to, to improve this, uh, this attack. And actually, what they, what they do is to, uh, they, they thought, well, we, we find the, the probability density function of, uh, of, uh, for each xi in the first step. Why not reuse this, uh, these results to repeat the attack, but on, on the y side, so using the, the, trying to find the probability density function for the y in the, in the first step, and then to repeat this again and again and again until uh, either the, the probabilities uh, converge or a, a given number of, uh, of iterations is, uh, is achieved. And, uh, and actually, that, that gave uh, quite, quite good results, as we can see here, that we are, we are now, uh, uh, I forget to say, the, the, the previous slides were for the case k equals 4, and the, the results here are shown for, the, for both case k equals 4 and uh, k equals 8. And we can see that from the, the, the 284 of the, of the previous case, we are now down to, to 21 or 25, depending on the case. And uh, the number of shares here required to achieve uh, so some uh, good success rate is now down to, to maybe 100 or 50 even in, in, uh, in some cases. So back to, back, back to the initial question. Uh, the question was, uh, what happens when, uh, when n becomes greater than, uh, than this, this uh, bound here? And, uh, and well, the, the answer to this is, uh, is related to, 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 the, to the, the value of n that is required for the, the attack to work. So essentially, the, the attack is a, a second order attack uh, because we use uh, the value yj n x, xi times yj. Uh, it has been shown that the, the, the value n uh, to, to, to be able to mount this attack uh, should be of the order of, uh, of the variance uh, of the product of the variance of the, the, two, leakage, uh, the two leakages that are, that are used. And, uh, and in our case, uh, this goes to, to sigma squared, the, the sigma we use uh, in, the, in the first place. Uh, just uh, because of the, the square root of n factor we, uh, divisor uh, we, can, we have seen uh, in the beginning. So that tells us that uh, if n is uh, greater than, uh, than uh, sigma square times a constant, then the, our attack should be, should be working. And the attack should be working. So we, we get to this condition, and we, we notice that we, we still have a gap in between those two, those two figures. Uh, anyway, I will go to the practical uh, experiments. So uh, the, they, they took the measurements on uh, an uh, 80 mega 328p uh, uh, processor. And uh, this is relative to a, a move operation of, uh, of a given value into uh, a specific register. And uh, we can see on the figures the, the, different, the different leakages that have been observed. The uh, SNR uh, of the signal here 
and we can see that we, we can spot some, uh, some, quite, uh, some quite interesting uh, uh, point of interest. Uh, this is the, 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 curve, the curves representing the variance for, uh, the, for each, uh, each value of x. And this is a, a zoom uh, of the, the figures here of the, all the signals uh, around the, the point of interest that we can see here. And this has, uh, has been achieved uh, by using uh, uh, 200,000 uh, 200, uh, observations. So one thing that, uh, that has been qu quite interesting to, to learn, uh, learn about the leakage of the, the component we were, they were using is this, they have been uh, averaging the, the signals that we have seen uh, here uh, for the different values of uh, amine weight of the, the value x that was, uh, that was used. And we can see that the, the leakage uh, we, we observe here is really, really cor correlated to, to the amine weight of the value. We, we can really see nine different points uh, and uh, with the, the amine weight of eight uh, on the top and the amine weight uh, at zero on the bottom. So then the, uh, only the, the, first, uh, the first version of the attack uh, is, uh, is presented here. So the, that was the, the one with the two, 284 uh, uh, shares required. And, uh, and actually, it, it works pretty, pretty much uh, better in, uh, in reality. As we can see that uh, uh, even on uh, the 10 shares, around 10 shares, the average position of the correct share becomes a, a really, is really good compared to the, to the other possibilities. And if you consider, in addition to this, uh, the possibility to use a, an adaptation of a key enumeration algorithm, the, this should really do, do the work. And um, in, cor in comparison with the, the numerical experiments, uh, we can see that we, we were uh, up to 21 when sigma equal to one uh, for the numerical experiments and that the, the experimental uh, uh, value we, we obtain is more close to 10 for uh, 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 standard uh, sigma value, uh, standard deviation value that is uh, way greater than the, the simulated ones. So my, one idea of the authors to, to explain this, uh, this, uh, this difference is that the, the numerical experiments only use one point, whereas the, the, the practical experiments uh, use 11 points of interest. So maybe the so summing in some way the, this, uh, this information may improve the results. So to, to face this attack, uh, they, they propose a countermeasure. So going back to the, the first uh, algorithm for the second multiplication, we can see, we can split the, the algorithm in two. And in the first phase, uh, we can see that we, we compute the, the matrix that is, the, that is used with all the products of the x item yj. In the second uh, step, we, we introduce some randomness and we, we compute the, the final matrix with the the, the products and the, 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 XORs, the XORs with the, the random values. The problem comes from the fact that there is no randomness in this, uh, at this step. And so they, they just add some, uh, some source of random in this algorithm uh, with uh, splitting the, the input into two blocks and to recursively uh, execute the, the matrix multiplication with uh, adding some, uh, some mask refreshing all along the way. So in the end, uh, we can see that uh, every single value uh, here manipulated during the, the algorithm is only ma ma manipulated twice uh, under the same, the same mask. So we can see here that uh, Y1 and Y1 here is uh, manipulated with the same mask, whereas uh, on the other time, there, there is no the, the mask is different, so there, there should not be any relation between them. So to conclude, uh, this paper presents uh, an horizontal side channel attack on the Ishai Wagner adaptation uh, by River and Proof uh, for second multiplication. 
So the, the first attempt was, was not really efficient, but the, the improved attack is, uh, gives quite good results. The experiment has been led with, uh, with, uh, with success. And, uh, and we learned from, the, from this that the, when the order n of the sharing becomes uh, too, too important, then uh, this might not be really good for the, for the security, actually. Uh, in the paper, they provide a, a proof of security of, uh, of, the, counter, of the, the new countermeasure, but uh, only against uh, n probes, and they, they want to, to do that for the case of n square probes, which were, uh, the case uh, with n probes was the case for the, the countermeasure of the attack, actually, uh, to study what happens when, uh, when n is, lies between the, the two bonds we've seen and to, to improve the efficiency of the countermeasure. And, uh, and actually, that has been done already uh, in some res with some respect. To, and you can see the, the results on the, on the ePrint version of, uh, of the article. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention.